And I'm going to tell you that I think the most sought-after candidate right now has a job and will be coaching this weekend, and that's John Harbaugh. And I just, I just tell you that I think a lot of teams are sitting out there waiting to see what happens. And if he doesn't sign an extension, and a lot of this is going to come down to timing, Ross, you know that. Like, if they make a run to the AFC championship game, a lot of these teams are going to have to move on. But if they get eliminated this weekend, I think there are going to be a handful of teams that are going to be sitting there and saying, let's wait and see whether or not John Harbaugh does that extension with the Ravens. Um, So there are some moving pieces there. And, and again, you know, I think because there's been so much turnover over the last eight years and sort of sapped the, 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 the pipeline, There are a lot of teams that feel like this year in particular, they've got to think outside the box and think creatively about who they're going to hire. But even if he doesn't sign an extension, Albert, he's still under contract through next year. Right. But if you're the Ravens and you know he doesn't want to be there, and I'm not saying that's the case. So let's just say John Harbaugh looks at it and says, Ozzie Newsom is gone. There's a new new general manager coming in and Eric DaCosta. The organization is going to be a little different. I say he wants a little more control and he can't get it. Do the Ravens then go forward knowing that that very well might be John Harbaugh's next year? Do they go forward with John Harbaugh and a lame duck here, or do they turn around and try to get a draft pick for him? I mean, I think that's the question, right? Like, is do you, if you're the Ravens, you know, and and you're in that situation and he's not willing to sign an extension um, and you know that you might lose him in a year, is it better to go through with the 2019 season with him as your coach, knowing that, you know, he might be gone? Or is it better to rip the Band-Aid off and collect some, some, some compensation for him? I think it's a fair question to ask. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.